specials, it seemed like. What what did you see out there in terms of how did you see your guys try and play through that, or did they lose their cool a little bit with some of the stuff going on out there? Yeah, no, I mean, uh, we're a no, ex- no excuse team, so, you know, we, we made um, we made our own, you know, mistakes um, at times. We had opportunities to win, so there's, there's um, you know, nothing, nothing on the, the officials. What did you think was the key then? Why couldn't you close it out there down the stretch? Yeah, execute down the stretch. Execute. Um, came up with a, a good stop at the end. Uh, just didn't bounce our way then, though. Went out of bounds off us. It seems like, especially with a team like the Spurs, it matches up this way anyway. Part of the day game plan is to rough up Carl and mm-hmm. get in his head. How, how do you... How do you work yeah, him out of yeah, that situation? Yeah, yeah. No, I mean that's that's a that's a good question. I mean it's it's uh I think it's one of those things we just gotta keep talking to him. Uh, keep talking to him. We're we're never gonna use youth youth as an excuse or anything, but um Carl's maturing it more each each and every day. So um, you know, we'll talk tomorrow, we'll probably talk tonight, um, and we'll be better for it on Sunday. At what point does it become a major issue though that your your best player can't seem to stay on the floor because of that foul trouble? Yeah, I mean Hey, we're, I said, we're, we're, we're a no excuse team in, in, in any way. Um, we'd obviously love to have Carl, Carl out there. Um, you know, he was very effective in terms of 23 points in 21 minutes. Um, so he makes a difference when he's out there. The final play, was that the look you wanted? You wanted the ball in, in Derek's hands in that, in that situation? Yeah, there were a couple different options off of that. We knew they were going to protect the, the three point line. Um, but we had, we had three, and, and that was one of them. I, we were comfortable with Derek. When it comes to some of Carl's fouls, do you think that these are easily correctable when you, when you kind of look back yeah. at, at some of the fouls that he drew tonight? Yeah, I think everything's correctable. So we'll, we'll, we'll take a harder look at mm-hmm. things, and, um, and then we'll, uh, we'll dive into them tomorrow. Right, Andrew got off to a really good start. It seemed like he kind of slowed down after that. How did you see that kind of navigating throughout the game? Yeah, I mean, just, just that. Uh, you know, we're, we're, we're at our best when... Andrew and everybody's in the open court um, when we run, um, but to do that you have to get stops too. Um, so we uh, we kind of let our foot off the gas a little bit. Let Bertans hit a couple threes in that third quarter that really hurt us. But we we were getting some stops and then we were able to get out um, at least early on and then um, and then in that little run there. But when you, when you get out in the open court, not to dwell too much on the. Carl's foul trouble, but I'm curious from your perspective, mm-hmm. what, what, what is it that you can do? Is there more you can do than communicate with mm-hmm. Carl to, to pull him out of those situations, maybe that he is getting in the foul trouble? Yeah, yeah, and I, I have a, um, we as a group have a couple ideas, I think, um, you know, that we'll go with in terms of, you know, working on going vertical. Um, you know, we'll, we'll have, uh, you know, going straight up and uh, not coming down because, I mean, I think that that's what it appears the, the fouls are being called, um, you know, majority of them are. Um, so we'll, we'll work on that, and we'll do that on both individual um, development as well as uh, um, team, you know, team, team drills. The strength of most of your wings, especially the ones who, who play really solid defense, um, is not a good handle. How do you... Uh, I mean, when you have a situation where most of your wing players are not really good on the dribble, does that affect how you govern your offense in some respects? Yeah, no, it, it does. And, and uh, you know, I, I wouldn't go, you know, as far to necessarily say they're, they're not good off the dribble. I understand what you're saying, though, you know, where, where they might have other strengths as opposed to, to you I mean, know. it affects what you might yeah, like draw up yeah, in terms of. Yeah, no, it, in, in, a way, in a way it does. Um, you know, we like guys coming out of the corner and getting downhill, um, you know, off dribble handoffs, things like that. Um, but it, it, can, it can affect that. But, um, you know, we've, we've, we had some good looks tonight. Um, we, we, we didn't execute in a couple of them.